Ahoy ahoy! In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to pad your boobs to make your bodice fit better. No, seriously. So if you've ever looked at photos of the 1850s and 60s, you'll notice the shape. It's very round and smooth. It's just this nice soft curve. But then if you've gone and tried to make one for yourself in your fitting process, you've probably noticed it's not round and smooth. There's a lot of gaping and wrinkling happening around this area between basically your shoulder and the peak of your bust. So how did they get over this back then? Honestly, they cheated. It just took a little bit of padding to just fill out that little hollow and give the fashionable shape. Now, what I'm gonna be talking about here, it's not necessarily padding to make your bust larger, though you certainly could do that, and they certainly did do that then. It's more of filling out the shape and adjusting the fit. Now, I'm gonna link down below a website that has the full instructions for how to do this the correct way using period correct materials. But unless you're new here, we, not, we don't do that. We do it the weird way. So I'm gonna be making bust pads out of old socks. And also some cotton salvaged from a bed sheet from the thrift store. I'm serious, if you're not getting your plain white cotton as bed sheets from the thrift store, like it will change your life. Start doing that right now. Let's get sewing. So the first thing I'm doing here is cutting my socks into the shape that I want. And they're gonna be a couple of layers there, which I'm tacking together to form it into the little shape that will fill out that top portion of the bodice. To get a truly authentic experience, you should put an anime on in your laptop and not look at the subtitles because you're convinced that after only a month of casually trying to teach yourself Japanese, that you can totally understand it and not have to pay attention to the English at all. And then next, I traced out the shape I wanted on some scraps of cotton. I believe this was also some of that bedsheet from the thrift store that I keep using in everything. I'm serious, if you are still buying cotton at the fabric store, you gotta, you gotta change your life. Seriously. And the final step is to tack the padding into the bodice. I am just picking up on the lining right there. All right, so here is the after. The padding was put in like right about here, so can see that it is a lot rounder and smoother and nicer. Still not pleased with what's going on here, but you know, it's gonna be covered with a collar, so we're not gonna worry about that too much. That's it for this one. If you would like to see more sewing contents, historical costuming, cosplay, feel free to subscribe and like, and I'll see you in the next one.